So now I managed to get into the target machine. And the first thing I did is I ran the ifconfig command to verify the IP address that I am indeed on my target machine. Clearly, I did not show you how I did that. That's for you to find out. This is your mission for the Web Application Fundamentals course. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you are stuck or having any challenges breaking into that machine, please go back to the other two beginners courses, the Hacking for Beginners course and the Web Applications Fundamentals course. Both of these courses combined have everything for you that you need to know to be able to successfully compromise this machine. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. It is still your mission for the Web Application Security Fundamentals course and you will have to figure it out on your own. If after going through both of these courses you're still struggling with it, I have left plenty of hints for you. If you're still facing challenges even with the hints, then please feel free to get in touch with me. So again, let's go back to the target. This is my view here after I got shell. Now remember one of the first things that I told you you need to do after you get in? is verify who did you get in as who are you on that system did you manage to get in as root hopefully fingers crossed and then mission accomplished or did you unfortunately got in but as a regular user and the command we used to do that is the id command and as we can see here unfortunately i managed to get in but as a low privileged user called the www data this is the default user that runs the Apache server. By the way, in the more advanced courses, our next step would be to escalate our privileges. So now that we got in as a low privileged user, the next thing I want to do is find a way to become root. But because this is more advanced and for later courses, I didn't want you to worry about that. And that's why I told you that your objective is to deface the homepage and leave a message on it. So you would know what it looks like when the bad hackers usually break into websites and leave a message on the homepage of these websites saying that it got hacked by XYZ or whatever. All right, so let's focus on our objective. Our objective right now is to find the homepage, the index.html file and see if we can put a message on it. Now for me to be able to do that, I want to figure out where am I? Where did I end up landing when I got into this machine? And to do that, I use the PWD command, the print working directory. Cool, so I find that I am in the web directory somewhere under a folder called Tiki and Vendor Extra and so on. So again, I want to go back to the web root directory where the index.html file exists. And this is, as we've mentioned multiple times before, is under the slash var slash www slash html. Now that I'm there, I want to use the ls-al command to see all the files and to see my permissions on these files. Because if I don't have permission to edit that file, then I'm in trouble. Luckily, I can see that the web administrator has done a mistake and has left the permissions as read write for everybody, allowing me as the hacker to change the file. To do that, I'm going to use an easier approach than nano. Because I just want to leave one word or one sentence on that page. I don't have to do the nano and then edit it and save it and so on. I'm just going to use the echo command that we saw previously. The echo command, if you remember, takes whatever input I give it and then echoes it back into the screen. Unless I do output redirection. So instead of echoing it back to me on the screen, I'm telling echo to please echo the success word and redirect that into the index.html page. Now let me check if that worked. I go back to the home page and I refresh and boom, here we go. I managed to leave my mark on the home page of the target website. I type exit and I go back to my interpreter shell. So yes, I did use Metasploit to hack into the target machine and we've seen Metasploit in the Hacking for Beginners course. So to recap, I managed to create a target from scratch. I've downloaded packages, I uncompressed packages, I set up directories, I set up permissions, I did the whole configuration and setup, and then I showed you how after you successfully break into it, you managed to achieve your objective by finding and editing the index.html page. All of that we managed to do using native Linux commands. 
obviously with the exception of Metasploit that comes by default installed on Kali. So we did all that without really needing any expert knowledge or any super advanced fancy commands. All of that we managed to do using some native commands that are found on any Linux system. And this is how we can put together all our knowledge and achieve what we just achieved. If you've been following along practically with these videos and recreating all that, then good on you. Well done. This is the best way to learn by doing and applying this knowledge yourself. Now you're going to take that knowledge and finish the mission of this course. So once you're ready, move on to the next video and find out what your mission for this course is. Good luck.